Hello everyone, and welcome back to Three Scary Games. Today we're going to be playing a whole host of different indie games. I was in a very pixelated mood today, so there'll be two of them that are pixelated. So I'll get right to the point. I haven't eaten yet and I'm hungry, so I don't want to make this intro very long. I am also running on absolutely no sleep. I'm trying to fix my sleep schedule. The moment I stay up till about 5 a.m. most nights, it's not good for me. I know, I know. I'm ashamed. So I'm trying to fix it, which means I'm running on absolutely no sleep. So I'm so sorry for the video you're about to see. I have no idea what's about to happen, but I imagine it's going to be extra. The first game we have up today is called A Day in the Office. Ooh, spooky. Nothing scarier than a day in the office, jeez. <laughs> and this is it. This is a day in the office. Very pixelated. I like it. Okay, how do I move? Oh, I click to move. Is the sound working? Yes, good. What do I do? Just like file some reports or something? What do you want me to do? It's too dark to see anything. I'll turn the light on. Why does my nose start itching? As soon as I press record, I... It drives me insane. Okay, can I exit? Okay. I also saw in the, uh, the itch.io page, <laughs> it said, if you click the clock at the start of the game, it will crash, so don't do that. <laughs> So I won't do that. <laughs> Thanks for the warning, developer. That's... Whoa, what, hey, what the fuck? Hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. It sounded like Yoshi. Anyway, what the fuck is that? I can't move. Um, hi? Do you want a coffee or something? It's a clock man. Alright. My dearest apologies. I must have forgotten to turn the lights on. I assure you that none of our employees work in the dark. Anyways, my name is Clockheart. I'm the CEO of this company, Kronos Inc. Since it's your first day here, I'd like for you to get to settled in. Fuck. Walk around and take some time to introduce yourself to your co-workers. And if you have any questions, I'll be in my office. Great. Thanks, friend. Question. Why the fuck are you a clock man? I think that's a valid question. Isn't that part of my induction? Anyway, uh, why aren't you questioning this, Mr. Man? This seems very strange. Hello, pretty lady. Simone. I'm Simone. Nice to meet you. I hope you enjoy your job here. Working at Kronos is an amazing opportunity. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask. What's our work schedule like? Don't you think our boss looks funny? <laughs> Valid questions. What's our work schedule like, Simone? We work on Monday to Thursday. That's pretty good. That's pretty tight. I like that. Good for you. Friday is our day off, so no one's around that day. On Thursday, we have a little potluck where everyone brings some food to share. I bet this is one of those kinds of places where it's like, we're just a big family, a big family that takes care of each other, and we work in a dynamic workplace. And it's like, no, bitch. You're overworking your staff, and you guilt them into working harder because apparently this family. Shut the fuck up. Okay, I'm heated. <laughs> Word to the wise, if a, if a workplace says that they're dynamic, it means they're going to overwork you and they're understaffed. If a workplace says that they're a family, they're not. It's toxic. Get out. <laughs> okay, thanks, Simone. You're a doll. Talk to a co-worker. Why, why did Simone have a name? You're just co-worker. Unless your first name's Co. Ugh, Mondays. All right, Garfield. I really hate Mondays. Okay, Garfield. Come talk to me another day, yeah? Sure. No problem. Use keypad, talk to technician. Hi, technician. The elevator's broken, so I got called in for a fix. I'm missing a soldering iron though, and I need it. I ordered one a while ago, but it's not coming till tomorrow. Some delivery, eh? Eh, eh. Got a question? Okay, uh, Simone, can I ask? Don't you think our boss looks a little funny? Like his face is a big ass clock. <laughs> Don't be rude. You shouldn't judge others based on their appearance. Uh, well, fair point, but still. I'm not judging him. I'm simply curious. He is a clock man. Did you get yourself acquainted with the other employees? Simone is one of our long-standing members. She's a valuable asset to our team. I'm sure she's got plenty of stories to share, if you're interested in that sort of thing. 
Uh, sure. Ooh. I'm going to just take a look at your billboard. Billboard? No, corkboard. Uh, bulletin board. Whatever. I hope you don't mind, clockman. Cool. Can I take this pin? Why do I need this pin? I put it on uh, the 2nd of October. Is that chill? I feel like I might have fucked something up. Oh, can I put it on Friday so we have to go home? Because <laughs> we don't work on Fridays. Talk to Clark Hart. Okay. Hi, Clark Hart. Yes. What does this company do? Okay. Kronos Inc. is a consulting firm renowned by many companies around the world. By solving our clients' past problems, we ensure that future ones don't occur. I assure you that working here is an excellent opportunity. However, there's always lots of work to do, so it's quite easy to lose track of time. I'm sure you don't have that problem. <laughs> so, if you need to remind yourself of the date, just look at where the pin is on the calendar. All right. Ugh, Mondays, I really hate Mondays. Come talk to me another day, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna put it on Tuesday, because then the elevator will be fixed, and that other coworker might talk to me because she doesn't like Mondays. So original, such a unique personality trait. Okay, it's Tuesday. Ooh. Ooh, the time of day changed. It's blazing hot outside. All right, can I open this box? There's a box sitting on the table. The curiosity piques you. You feel that it would be rude to open a package meant for someone else. Open the box. I'm a rude guy. Ooh, you open the box and find a soldering iron. Okay, so I can just give it to the dudes. So we can fix the elevator. It's really hot out today. We used to have a water cooler, but we had an accident involving it. What kind of accident? Too much hydration? Someone spilled the water over a bunch of equipment and short-circuited all of it. Oh, yeah, that is kind of a big accident. I think something even exploded. Yeah, that's... Yeah, yeah that, I'm surprised you ensued. It was actually a pretty scary moment. Malfunctioning equipment is no joke. Clockheart was really mad that day. Okay, did he do something really scary? I feel like he has the capability to do something really scary. Okay, well, the janitor guy is not here. Okay, hi, coworker. It's Tuesday. Man, I'm really thirsty. Hmm? Do you need something? How about you fetch me some water? Then we can talk, yeah? Okay, fine, but where's the water? Where's the water? Clock hot. Oh, it sure is hot out today. We used to have a water cooler, but one of our employees made it explode and damaged the office equipment. Needless to say, he is no longer with us. That was a veiled threat. <laughs> okay, so can I put it back to Monday, get the guy here to fix the elevator, give him the soldering iron, and then make it Tuesday again, and maybe the water cooler is down in the lobby or something and I can get it for that lady. Was that a big brain move? That could have been a big brain move. Hi, guy. Do you want the soldering iron that I totally stole from you? You give the soldering iron to the technician. Hey, you found a soldering iron. I guess I won't be needing that delivery after all. It's still going to take a few days to get this elevator up and running, but this will make it a lot easier. My guess is it'll be done by Friday. Thanks for the help. No worries. I can just skip straight to Friday. Wait, can I? No, I don't want to talk to you. I Can I skip straight to Friday? Because no one works on Friday. Hmm, let's try. Oh, it's nighttime and scary. It's dreary. Hmm, I see that. Is this, a, is this when it turns into a horror game? The elevator has to be unlocked first. Oh, for fucking piss sake, Jesus Christ. So many little things to do. Can I steal a key from Clockheart's desk? Maybe. No, you're still here. Okay, weird. Diligent worker, aren't you? Everyone gets Friday off, so the office is closed. If you wish to stay in work, though, I won't stop you. Sure. Can I... Do you have anything new to say? No. Great. Okay, well, is this just going to be a guessing game? Should I make it, like, Wednesday or something? Because we didn't see what happened on Wednesdays. Oh, it's rain. Oh, God. It's raining and thundering on Wednesdays. Great. It's storming outside with an immense amount of rain. Someone apparently forgot to close the windows. Okay. Oh, hi, Simone. I love rainy days. As a kid, I used to stick my tongue out and drink as many raindrops as I could. 
It's not as efficient as drinking water normally, but it was a lot more fun. Unfortunately, this rainstorm... Storm? Unfortunately, this rainstorm brought a, brought a power outage with it. I was working overtime, but I'm staying here a little longer to enjoy the storm. Sure, weirdo, no worries. Huh, interesting, 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 interesting. Okay, so where do I get the key from? Nasty storm out there, isn't it? Fortunately, we have a backup power generator. Unfortunately, there's only enough energy to power this very room. Sure. Let's try Thursday. I always liked a Thursday. Let's try Thursday. Ooh, yeah, the potluck with the food, I remember. There's a wide variety of food and snacks. Within the feast, there are two empty water bottles tucked away in the corner. Oh, cool. You take the water bottles. For that lady. Cool. Huh, maybe she'll give me the key? Happy food day! <laughs> Isn't every day food day? Simone always brings a lot of grub on food day. Honestly, I think she does a little too much around here. But that's not really a flaw, is it? Being too nice? Me? I'm just here for my paycheck. Fair enough. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, so we got our water, so let's make it Monday again. And then see if that coworker lady gives us the keys, or at least opens something, another possibility for us. Did you enjoy the food? It's company tradition here for everyone to contribute something on the table. That applies to more than just the food, of course. Sure. You're weird, my friend. You're very weird. Though I appreciate the opportunity. Thank you. Okay, let's go and get this lady some water. She is parched. Here you are. You trying to flatter me? I don't need that junk. Oh, they're empty. Oh, oop. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What day was it when it was raining? He said something about it raining and the window happened to be open. Was it Wednesday? Sounds like a Wednesday thing. Hmm, interesting. Hold empty water bottles outside. Ah, cool. That's interesting. I like that. Okay, back to Monday. I am very curious when this uh, turns into a horror game. It's kind of putting me on edge because right now there's nothing scary going on apart from clock art just being a little bit strange. You're trying to flatter me? I don't need that junk. Why? You said... Oh, wait, no. It was... God damn it. It was Tuesday that it was really warm. Ah! Oh, okay, lady, I'm back. It's sweltering hot outside. Very much exactly like it is in the UK right now. Here is your feckin' water. You hand him one of the water bottles. Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a man. Oh, okay. Oops. Hey, you actually got it. Thanks, man. You have no idea how much I needed this. I appreciate it, really. Hey, I know I was kind of a jerk earlier, so I'll let you in on a little secret. It's about the company we're working for. Kronos, why the music? What's happening? You know how we're supposed to be a consulting firm, yeah? Well, we haven't had any clients for a while now. I don't know how long it's been since our last one. It's hard to keep track of time sometimes. All I know is, for some reason, Companies just stopped seeing us. And you know what's even weirder? Somehow our boss keeps finding work for us. A consulting firm without any clients should be dead in the water, but we're still getting paid. I ain't complaining, but frankly it's starting to weird me out. Fair enough, that is very strange. Anyways, that's the office gossip. I'm leaving the company soon, so might as well just get it out. Just gotta send the boys uh, my two weeks notice this Friday, and then this stuff will be behind me. If you want to know more, you can try asking Simone about it. She's been here longer than I have. Take care, man. I have a feeling you're not going to make it to Friday, my friend. I have a feeling something bad's going to happen to you. And it's going to be in the shape of a big fucking clock. I need to be careful when I'm saying clock. <laughs> okay, hi, Simone. Hi, did you need something? What's that? You want to know more about our clients? Truth be told, we haven't had any new ones for a while. Maybe Clockheart's moving the company in a new direction. Although... Hey, is it okay if we talk about this later? I don't really want to talk about it with others around. If you can meet me sometime when we'll be alone, I'll tell you more. Okay. I feel like, was it Wednesday when it was all stormy that uh, the male coworker wasn't here? But Simone was. Was it Thursday? No, Thursday's potluck. Hi, Simone. 
I always found thunderstorms to be oddly calming. But you didn't come here to enjoy the storm, right? Somehow, we're still working even though we have no clients. In fact, every day is just a constant stream of work. I can feel each day pass by. I know it's a new day, but I don't remember leaving this building. Sounds crazy, right? How can I not remember my life outside of work? That sounds very relatable to probably a lot of people. Anyways, I asked Clockheart about the client thing before. He would always just give me this really weird stay and then walk away. So one day, I snooped around his office when he wasn't there and I found this. Simone hands you a newspaper. I... I don't know what to make of this. But you're a new face here. Maybe you can figure out what's going on. If you could do that and tell me, I'd be really grateful. Sure, how do I look at it? Ooh. On May 27th, Kronos Inc. filed for bankruptcy. Shortly after, the company's 87 employees, including its CEO, mysteriously vanished. Their whereabouts are still unknown. Attempts to enter the building have been probably unsuccessful. Oh, well, that's good, isn't it? That's, that's real good. That's real nice. I like that. Shit. Okay, so we're in some alternate reality dimension. And we're all just fine with that. Also, Simone, do you know where there's a fucking key? I wasn't sure if the newspaper was fake or not. It has to be, right? How are we still here if what the article says is true? Please find out what's going on. Okay. How does, how does one do that? How do one do that? Can I just ask you about it? I feel like it's not going to go well if I do. Okay, no, you're still just going on about the company. Huh. Okay, so the newspaper says it's May 27th that we went bankrupt, but the the bulletin board always says October. So is there anything I can do with that? Can I like flip the flip the page back a bit? No? I'm lost. Can I like dump my water on the electricals again? Short circuit something. Ooh. Use water fill bottle and elevator. Nope. Oh, god damn it. Why? That sounds like fun. Oh, it's a keypad that opens the elevator. It's a four digit number. Put the water down. Okay. What would the four digit number be? October 2020. So. I don't know if that's correct. Like 10, 20. Err, damn it. Okay. Oh! Oh, I didn't expect that to work. That was the date on the elevator, uh, the newspaper. <laughs> that was the date on the uh, newspaper, May 27th, the day we went bankrupt. Take the elevator? Sure. Why not? Okay, this is new and interesting and strange. What is that noise? Am I outside or am I still in the building? I don't like these noises. Damaged equipment. <gasps> it's malfunctioning piece of equipment. It looks quite dangerous to handle. Uh, can I pour water on it? Now probably isn't the time to do that. Why not? Okay, well that's my coworker who was uh, saying he was gonna leave on Friday. There's a dead body lying on the ground. <laughs> it's all bloodied up and bruised. You check the body for its contents. You find a two weeks notice. Mr. Clockhart, please accept this letter as my formal notice of resignation from Conus Inc. I'm very grateful for the time here. I hope that this two week notice is enough time to find a replacement. Thank you for the opportunity to work here. Sincerely, coworker. All right. Do you want some more water, friend? <laughs> oh. I didn't flip the paper. I see you. Who sees me? What? Oh, ah, uh, ah, uh. Hi, Clockheart. How are you? Oh, fancy seeing you down here. Oh, I thought you were on your lunch break. You shouldn't have come here. Why? What's up? I suppose you found out about the fate of my company. That Kronos went bankrupt because a foolish intern damaged my systems. Systems that happen to hold all of our crucial files. If you think I'm going to let my company die because of some stupid intern's blunder, 
you are sorely mistaken. And all of the news that reported the bankruptcy are mistaken too. Because as long as I live, Kronos lives forever. But as for you, your time is finished. Okay, 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 there we go, bitch, ha <laughs> ha, get fried. Now Kronos will die, because you too have died. World's best boss, honestly, I would've got him that mug too. Four day week, pretty good, pretty solid. Okay, let's go back up to, uh, to work. Hey, something weird happened in here. So, uh, so look, it's so looking weird. Oh, that's Simone, dead. Okay, hi. It's a decaying body, rotten and old. Nice. There's a name tag next to it. It says, Simone. You just broke the curse is what's happening. I see. All right. Can we just leave? I can't, I can't look at anything anymore. So I assume we just leave. A day in the office. Oh wow! Sick! That was very fun. I did like that. That was a good time indeed. A good time was had by all. Thank you for making that. Very good indeed. Okay, next game. This game is called That Room. Another pixelated horror game, which I'm a big fan of and I was in the mood for today, so that's why I've got two in a row. Again, this one is a short little horror experience. I don't and I don't know what, what the premise is really, but it's a game that takes place in one room and a boy who's trying to search for memories and things like that, I believe. I didn't read too much about it. Oh, I see. I was clicking the wrong buttons. There we go. The control says wazd. The game said arrows. <laughs> so who knows? Where am I going? Oh, okay, there's a door. Oh, I thought the game was broke. <laughs> okay, that's a door. Cool. Oh, interesting. Do you remember your name? Or did you remember your name? Uh, no. No. <laughs> Good guess. But I do remember a dream that I keep having. Can you describe it? Huh? The dream that you keep having. Oh. Often it's pretty blurry, but I've seen it so many times that I've just memorized it. How does it go? It always takes place in a room. Always that one room that one room. I don't really remember it. I don't think I've ever been there before, but I'm always there in the dream. Oh, and I suppose this is the coveted room. I see. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Very good room. A to look. Oh, good. Is that a creeper poster? You went to Minecraft. And a pirate ship and a cute little teddy bear. Very nice. I think this game was made as part of a game jam as well. It's probably made in absolutely no time at all, which is very impressive. Huh. What does it look like? Uh, I don't know. It's just a normal room. The room? It's cozy and comfortable. It's weirdly filled with lots of things. But maybe that's just what all rooms look like. But this one just feels dreadfully calm. Right. If you... Okay, I didn't press anything. And how do you see yourself in these dreams? I'm still not used to my face. In that room, there's a mirror. I think it's broken because I can't see anything in it. Or anything recognizable, at least. What do you see? Let's go and see. Let's go and have a look. Oh, that's good. That's healthy. Oh, no. <laughs> see, this is going to be bad, isn't it? Uh-huh. Oh, I see a figure about my height, or maybe shorter. Does it do anything? It's always crying. I don't really see it, but I just know somehow. Does it move or talk? Not really. It just follows my reflection. Maybe it is my reflection. Well, I'd advise you not think about it that much. I think that's all we have today. See you tomorrow at the same time. Sure. Why not? Cool. Okay, so I'm dreaming now. Am I dreaming? Okay, I didn't press anything again. This is strange. Hello. Oh. Thank you for coming. Should. I've had the same dream again. 
Oh. But this time, something different happened. There were noises. What did they sound like? At first it was just yelling. But then it kept getting worse. Louder. More aggressive. I feel that. Okay. They were screaming at some point. Yikes. Then a gunshot. Then nothing. Hello? Same therapist guy. <laughs> same. Heavy same. Anything else you remember? There was a man. And... A woman. I could tell from the voices. The woman's voice sounded so sharp in my skull. Same. The moment it got in, it never got out. I can still hear it. What happened next? I peeked from the door. Uh oh. Oh, that's bad. That's real bad. I'm sensing some very, very repressed memories. Very, very repressed indeed. There was blood everywhere. The woman was on the ground. And then I heard a muffled word in my head. Mm. Mm. Mom. Oh no. Oh, this is pleasant. I think it was my mom. That was my mom. I, rem I remember. I remember. <laughs> I remember. You remember. He, she, me. Remember. <laughs> So stupid, sorry. <laughs> you weren't supposed to remember any of this. What do you mean? Did you already? I'm sorry. Uh oh. 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 Okay. Okay, so that was that room. <laughs> Very interesting little game. Uh, the, the loud noises were a little spooky at times. Uh, <laughs> I like that it didn't really give you a chance to keep up. It was like, this is happening, this is happening, this is happening, this is happening. And then you have to sort of come to your own conclusions at the end of exactly what happened. <laughs> so what I'm gathering is, obviously he was a child, something bad happened, his parents maybe not so great of a relationship, mother got hurt or killed and he wasn't supposed to remember it. So he either repressed all those memories or he was forced to repress those memories and he wasn't supposed to remember them. So maybe that therapist guy wasn't actually a therapist. Maybe it was his dad and his dad didn't want to get caught or something. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay, uh, I think I saved something uh, terrifying for last. Look who it is, it's our good pal Springtrap. We love him, right? He's not scary at all. He's actually nice and cuddly. He's not gonna do anything bad to me. Can you tell I'm stalling? I don't wanna play this. <laughs> okay, this is Chase in a Dark Basement. And I guess it's a Five Nights at Freddy's fan game from what I'm seeing. Um, I think Springtrap is the only animatronic in this fan game though. I don't think the other guys are there. I think they're all out having a pizza party, probably. So as far as I read, which wasn't much, this is a Slendy type game. We have to collect six of something. Uh, but Springtrap is around and he will be trying to kill me. So that's fun. I don't want to play it. <laughs> oh, okay. Collect all the newspapers. Oh, okay, I sprint. Very- Oh! What do I do about that? What do I do about that? Ah, oh! 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 I guess I have to be in his eye line. I have to be in his red eyes. Oh, I hate that. Oh, I hate this. Oh, this is fucking terrifying. Does my flashlight affect things? There's one. Oh, where is he? He sounds close. He sounds close. He sounds like he's behind me. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, there's two. That's two. Oh. oh, I'm really nervous. There's three, three, three to five. I can't be almost done. Surely not. Come on, game. Oh, ha! Ah. Don't come in here. Oh, don't come in here. Something just went. Something just disappeared. Okay. Can he see my flashlight?
There's another one. Quick. Pick it up. Four out of five already. I am good at this game. He's behind this wall. He's behind this wall next to me. Spring trap. Don't do it. Oh. Oh, he's patrolling. He's patrolling though. Uh, okay. Do I avoid? I guess. Where would the other one be? Why have I passed it already? Don't say so. Don't say so. Oh, I thought I saw a red light. Don't do that game. Uh, oh. Uh oh, this is a bad place to be. Oh, 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 no, 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 <laughs> Try to avoid spring trap, otherwise it will crush your skull. I don't think you'll like it. Thanks, friend. <laughs> oh god, that really got me. I didn't know what to expect. That was very loud. Oh good lord. Not gonna lie. Super duper loud. That was me in full panic mode, by the way. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Here's the other one. Ah. <sighs> Leave me alone, bitch. Who's the other one? I think they're all in the exact same place. Which is good for me. Oh! Yeah, they are. The last one. I didn't see where the last one was. I guess it was over in that area I just was. I think he's following a path, though. Oh god, he turns around so quick! Oh, I'm so nervous, I'm so nervous. Damn it! Oh no, no spring trap! No! <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> he crushed me skull again, guys. He crushed me skull. God damn you! Okay, we're gonna do it this time. Swear on me, mum. Swear on me, mum. Oh, you've never come this way. Oh, don't you do that to me! Asshole! Okay, spring trappy bay! You're not gonna get a fast run on me! Sorry, I'm shouting because I'm nervous. I'm nervous! I'm nervous! Ooh, yoy, 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 yoy. Oh, that was risky. That was really risky. Oof! Woof! Ah. Oh. 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 Whew. Whew. Now? No. Oh, maybe. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Ah! Ah! Oh wait, what? Which one did I miss? Oh piss! Which one did I miss? Oh, that was really lucky. Oh, this is a dead end. Oh, shit. Ah! <laughs> no! No! Leave me alone! <laughs> Don't chase me, bitch! I want the last newspaper. Where is it? Oh, there it is. I see it. Spring trap. This is getting real old, friend. This is getting real old. Get away! Get away from me! Get away from me! Get away from me! <laughs> this is kind of fun though. Oh god! <laughs> yeah, I know where they all are now. That's good. That's better than we were doing before. Whew. 
Sneaky bitch. Sneaky bitch. Okay. Okay. It's okay. It's chill. It's chill. It's all chill. It's all real chill. We're gonna be patient this time. We're gonna be patient and then we're gonna win. I'm gonna win! Okay, I see what I did last time. I didn't see the- I didn't get the one in this room. Shame. Shame. It's the run where he comes through this door, and you can see his light through this- this door I'm looking at right now. This one. Then he'll turn around and he'll go the long way. Nice work, thanks for playing. You can play other modes. Also, do not forget to write a comment and write rate my game on itch.io. Cool. That was Chase in a Dark Basement. Definitely very spooky. Definitely made my heart race a little bit, so well done. All in all, a very, very fun little Five Nights at Freddy's fan game. So, well, that's it for this episode of Three Scary Games. My second episode ever. That's pretty cool. If you enjoyed this one, I will have the playlist for Three Scary Games linked in the description and in the card that's above my head right now. You can go click it if you want to. This is only the second episode, so there will be more coming, but I really appreciate you hanging out with me today. Thank you so much. Please feel free to check out any of my other videos. And if you ever want to come back and hang out again, you're more than welcome to. I'll still be here. But thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.